I'm John, the banking systems engineer, Termel, and my message to Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger of California is, Arnold, don't be a financial girly man. Be a man. Be bold. Show some muscle. Show some balls. Run your own money system. You'll learn how. So we're going to look at these articles. California eyes IOUs for second time since depression. And then California running out of money. And then from the office of the governor, the bank on California. And California controller to suspend tax refunds, welfare checks, student grants. And finally, cash strapped states ways selling roads and parks and all their other hard and expensively paid for assets. California. The world's eighth largest economy may pay vendors with IOUs for only the second time since the Great Depression, State Finance Directory Mike Genet said. In a letter to legislative leaders December 1st, Genet said the state, quote, will begin delaying payments or paying in registered warrants in March, unquote, unless an $11.2 billion deficit is closed or reduced. California, which approved its budget less than three months ago, may run out of cash by March, state officials say. Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger warned that the state may issue warrants, which are a promise to pay with interest to suppliers and contractors, as the seizure in credit markets may make it too costly to borrow. Now don't forget, in Argentina, the Argentinian provinces, they paid all their people, not with IOUs, but with small denomination provincial bonds that people could then spend as currency. A lot better than receiving, I owe you $4,200. What are you going to do with it? But pay them in, you know, $420 bonds, California credits, and all of a sudden people can use that alternate currency. So there's a way of making this useful for California. It worked before. It's getting worse very quickly, Schwarzenegger, a 61-year-old Republican, told reporters December 1st after declaring a fiscal emergency and ordering the legislator into a special session to find ways to close the deficit. It's like an avalanche and that it gains momentum, and that's what we're in right now, so it's a real crisis. California is reeling more than any other state from budget woes that push the nation's governors to seek help from Congress. States say federal money is needed to ease the pain from spending cuts and tax increases that would be a further blow to an economy in the throes of a recession. So, to avoid spending cuts and tax increases in California, they're going to get it from the feds and they'll get the spending cuts and the tax increases from the feds instead. Maybe. The warrants would be given to landscapers, carpet cleaners, construction firms, food service companies, and other state vendors. They would pay an interest rate as much as 5% based on state law. California last issued the IOUs in 1992 when lawmakers and then Governor Pete Wilson deadlocked on a budget for 61 days past the start of the fiscal year. Well, of course... If it was paid in small denomination notes, these landscapers, carpet cleaners, construction firms could then reuse them to pay their employees. But just accepting a, bar, a warrant worth 5% extra whenever it's paid off isn't really going to help them with their employees, will it? California controller John Chiang said that the state's cash account will decline to $882 million by February, below its preferred cushion of $2.5 million, and will be negative $1.9 billion in March. Tax collections have been hammered as the collapse of the real estate market eliminated 136,000 construction jobs in the state in the past two years and led consumers to curb spending. California leads the nation in home foreclosures. Its 8.2% unemployment rate is the third highest in the U.S., and the wealthiest 1% of citizens pay almost half its personal income taxes. <laughs> the only people with money. And making it sensitive to swings in the stock market. California's two-year budget shortfall is about $28 billion accounting for one-third of the deficits faced by U.S. states. According to figures from the National Conference of State Legislators in Denver, U.S. states may collect at least $97 billion less than they need to pay their bills over the next two years, the group reported yesterday. If the states 
having budget problems and they're about to run out of cash, that limits their opportunity to raise money in the capital markets, says Terry Good, who heads municipal bond research for Wells Capital Management in San Francisco. The Port Authority of New York and New Jersey attracted no bids from investment banks to manage a $300 million taxable note offering this week. Biggest borrower. California, the biggest borrower in the municipal bond market, has $51.9 billion in general obligation debt. Even if the state runs out of cash, constitutional law stipulates that holders of California general obligation bonds are first in line for payment by Treasury after education. The budget deficit has grown even as California cuts spending on health care, universities, and welfare programs. Schwarzenegger proposed tax increase for the first time since he took office in 2003 as Democrats agreed to slash $8 billion in spending. Republicans who have enough support to block a two-thirds majority needed to pass a tax increase have made sure the measures failed. This is not blind ideology on the part of the Republicans, but our sincere belief that higher taxes will hurt the economy and lead to more uncontrolled spending, said Assembly Leader Mike Villains. Schwarzenegger's declaration of a fiscal emergency gives lawmakers 45 days to plug the shortfall. If they fail in that time, they are barred from doing any other legislative work until they do. So they're barred from doing anything until they come up with cash in a world with no cash. <laughs> The declaration came after lawmakers were unable to agree on a plan to close the gap during a three-year special session that expi- three-week special session that expired on November the thirtieth. We're just barely hanging on right now, Chang said. We need strong legislative action immediately. Ah, oh, they got no money, but strong legislative action might work. Ah. Bet not. And California running out of money. Wednesday, December the 10th from Yahoo News. Sacramento, California lawmakers just got a Henry Paulson-like ultimatum for straight from state officials. If they don't act, the state could be forced to suspend road, bridge, and other public works projects as early as next week. Running out of money like the invading army that captured the railroad but then couldn't use it because they couldn't find the tickets. Can't run the railroad, got no tickets. Can't run California's economy, got no money. A confluence of the national recession and years of legislative budget games is squeezing the Golden State as never before. Although it's not the largest budget gap the state's ever faced, this time it'll be harder for California to get help from private lenders. Standard & Poor's now ranks it lower than any other state except Louisiana, which shares the same rating. The question, will lawmakers finally make the tough budget decisions they put off so long? Tough budget decisions meaning cutting funds to the poor and raising taxes to everybody else. It's the only two options they know of. The state faces a $28 billion budget shortfall over the next two years. If nothing is done, nearly $5 billion in public works projects could be halted in little more than a week. Can't run the railroad, got no tickets. Um, for lack of bond sales, everything from bridge emplacements to a new highway tunnel and billions of dollars worth of school construction, according to the state treasury Lockyer. Can't run the railroad, got no tickets, can't build schools, got no money. <laughs> Lots of men material tools, but got no money. The picture worsens next spring if legislators don't pass some plan to increase revenues or cut spending or both. California will run out of operating cash in March, State Controller Chung said. The recession has severely squeezed state revenues. Normally, the state would borrow to cover any shortfall, but internal revenue sources have already been depleted and outside lenders are less accommodating. Can't find any money. If not because of California's economy, because it's deep and diverse, said David Hitchcock, primary credit analyst for California with Standard & Poor's. It's because financially they've had budgets that have not proved realistic. They've had large deficits and they've only been able to pay for their budgets through borrowing for the last couple of years. Mr. Chang said the state may be forced to seek special loans at exorbitant rates or issue IOUs to state workers and vendors, further damaging the California economy. No, they can't pay them with provincial bonds that they can spend. they got to give them pieces of paper they can't spend. Failure is not an option here, said Chang, but they're going to (laughs) fail. Referring to the need to align state spending and revenues, it would take years to recover deepening and prolonging the recession. Bringing the budget back in line will require drastic cuts, significant tax raises, or both. The only two options these guys know about.
These options will harm the economy in the short run and cost the state jobs, but so would any delay in taking action, said legislative analyst Mac Taylor. Not fixing the budget would worsen the state's credit rating, making infrastructure projects even harder to fund, harder to find the money at cheap enough rate. It means that the stimulus that we all want won't occur, Lockyer said. Millions of dollars that would have gone to thousands of private sector businesses, creating tens of thousands of jobs, will be cut off. Other states are stuck in similar positions of budget duress, making federal money key to jump-starting their economies. Everybody needs federal money. They can't run it provincially.